In a battle with Ukrainian troops, Russia lost its only prototype of the T-80UM-2 experimental main battle tank. The mangled remains of the tank, dubbed Black Eagle, were discovered in Sumy Oblast, Ukraine's northeasternmost region. The wreckage was discovered by a team of researchers from the Oryx blog, who believe the tank was knocked off during a clash on March 17. It's also possible that the remains were not discovered until now. And what is packed in Russia's Black Eagle? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced battle tanks at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's get started. The Black Eagle tank, or Object 640, was a rumored Russian Federation prototype main battle tank. Based on the TADU, it was thought to have been developed in the late 1990s by the KBTM Design Bureau in Omsk. This tank has never been publicly demonstrated in production form. The Black Eagle has been cancelled, and all production and development have come to a halt. Omsk Transmash, the company that was developing the tank, has gone bankrupt. Its designs and projects have been absorbed into Ural Vagonzavod and state-owned services. Ural Vagonzavod was developing the T-95 in competition with the Black Eagle, and now owns the rights to both projects, but the Russian government has withdrawn all support and funding. The design bureau of the Leningrad Kirov plant developed a new design based on the stretched T-80U chassis in the 1980s. When the bureau closed, the paperwork was transferred to KBTM in Omsk. In September 1997, a mock-up of the Black Eagle was shown for the first time at the VTTV Arms Exposition in Omsk, making a single brief pass far from the reviewing stands. The tank appeared to be an elongated T-80U hull with a massive turret and gun hidden behind camouflage netting and canvas. The turret was later revealed to be a crude mock-up. In June 1999, an early prototype was displayed at an arms show in Siberia. This tank had an elongated hull, seven pairs of road wheels rather than the T-86, and a turret that was still mostly obscured by camouflage netting. The tank was built on a lengthened T-80U hull with an additional pair of road wheels and a completely new turret. It appeared to have thick front armor as well as new generation cactus explosive reactive armor on the hull and turret. Instead of the traditional dome shape of previous Soviet and Russian main battle tanks, the turret bustle was very large and box-shaped. According to Russian reports, the Black Eagle design had abandoned the carousel-style autoloader in the fighting compartment in favor of an autoloader mounted in the large Western-style turret bustle, which, like the U.S., incorporates a blowout armored ammunition compartment for crew safety. M1 Abrams, the German Leopard II, the British Challenger II, the French Leclerc, and a number of other modern Western tanks, the prototype was equipped with a 125mm tank gun, but it was speculated that it could have accommodated a larger 152mm gun compared to the 120 and 125 mm caliber guns of main battle tanks in service. There was some disagreement over whether the Black Eagle would include the Drozd, or Arena, a countermeasure. The tank has a combat weight of 48 tons and is powered by a new GTD 1400 gas turbine engine with a capacity of more than 1500 horsepower. As a result, the tank's power density exceeds 30 horsepower per ton and the dynamic characteristics of the Black Eagle should significantly exceed the specifications of the Western third generation of tanks, which have a specific power of 20 to 25 horsepower per ton. This MBT could have a range of up to 1,000 kilometers with external fuel tanks. The Black Eagle has three crew members. Crew members are stationed in the tank's hull beneath the level of the tower. These are accessible via the commander and gunner hatches in the turret housing and the driver's hatch in the tank's hull. This prototype MBT is equipped with a battle management system, which allows it to be constantly aware of the battlefield situation and precise vehicle location. The Black Eagle tank is highly resistant to a wide range of anti-tank weapons. This prototype main battle tank appears to have very thick, sloped front armor and new generation explosive reactive armor. For improved frontal protection, the driver's position was relocated to the rear of the hull. The turret roof is armored on multiple levels to protect against top attack threats. It was also proposed to use the DRAWS-2 or Arena Active Protection Systems, as well as the Stora 6 and Stora 8B countermeasure systems. According to reports, the Black Eagle was supposed to be equipped with an air search radar that would alert the crew to hostile aircraft and helicopters up to 16 kilometers away. In 2001, the Black Eagle project was formally cancelled. 
The development of the Black Eagle was halted due to financial issues, concerns about the design's reliability and, most importantly, the Black Eagle's poor performance in the First Chechen War. The T-80 performed so poorly that after the war, General Lieutenant A. Galkin, the head of the Armor Directorate, convinced the Minister of Defense that gas turbine-powered tanks would never be procured again. This included the Black Eagle, which was quickly scrapped. Omsk Transmash, the manufacturers, attempted to appeal the decision but were unable to do so after declaring bankruptcy in 2002. The Russian army planned to adopt a new Ural Vagon Zavod tank after 2010, possibly designated T-95 as of July 2008. The T-95 tank's development was also halted in May 2010. Colonel Vladimir Voitov, head of research at the main directorate of armored troops, denied the existence of the tank in a September 2009 interview with Echo Moskvi Radio. There was no such project, and those 20-year-old photos show a mock-up of a futuristic tank that remained nothing more than a product of someone's imagination. There was nothing inside the vehicle's turret. In late 2011, it was announced that some technical solutions developed for the Black Eagle tank would be incorporated into the Armada Universal Combat Platform. The Black Eagle could have been part of a larger convoy of Russian vehicles attacked by the Ukrainian armed forces as evidenced by the destroyed trucks nearby. According to The Drive, while the tank's turret appears to have been destroyed, its hull was seen charred, though it is unclear what hit it. The discovery of the prototype in Ukraine, however, has piqued the interest of military observers who believe that the deployment of the one-off pre-production prototype tank indicates that the Russians are putting everything they have into the war. However, the drive added that Russia was unlikely to have depleted its stock of high-end armored vehicles to the point where the prototype had to be thrown into battle. While Russia's decision to deploy questionable vehicles on the battlefield has perplexed military observers, it is possible that the Kremlin is testing various capabilities against modern battlefield threats. According to the report, the T-80 UM-2 may have been deployed to see how its protective features fared against Ukraine's advanced weapons, such as anti-tank missiles. The Black Eagle is Russia's only combat aircraft equipped with an active protection system so far. The presence of the tank in Ukraine could also set a precedent for sending advanced systems to Ukraine, similar to how the rare BMPT-72 Terminator armored fighting vehicle was introduced to frontline service last December. The tank's great characteristics were attributed to Object 640, one of the favorite topics of the Western press publications of the time. Object 640 has been referred to as a fourth-generation tank and at times a fifth-generation tank. However, no official statement was issued. The Black Eagle was quickly forgotten. In the early 2000s, Russia announced the development of a new main battle tank, the T-95. Around the same time, the OMS company went bankrupt after failing to receive orders from the Russian defense military. That's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your family and friends. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.